Hello and welcome to the SAP HANA Academy. My name is Dennis Van Kampen and in this video tutorial series we will discuss installation and update SAP HANA SPS 12. The topic of this video tutorial is installing a multi-tenant database container SAP HANA system. Installing an SAP HANA multi-tenant database container system is very easy and it's very similar to installing a regular SAP HANA system apart from one selection. For those of you not familiar with multi-tenant database containers, there is a full playlist on the SAP HANA Academy that covers all the different topics. It provides an overview, how to create tenant databases, how to set up tenant database configuration, cross database access, and so on. So if you're not familiar yet with these topics, please take a look. The download for an SAP HANA multi-tenant database container system is exactly the same as a regular SAP HANA system. And we have covered downloading SAP HANA software in a different video in this series. Here I'm connected to a Windows computer and I've started a terminal session to the SAP HANA Linux server. You can install a multi-tenant database container system either using the graphical, the Windows version of the Lifecycle Manager or the command line version. And this is also, of course, the tool you would use if you want to script it to automate the installation. I will run here the Windows version, HTTP LCM GUI, from the HTTP server Linux directory from the installation medium, the DVD. Here we have the SAP HANA Platform Lifecycle Management tool with the first screen where we'll select software component locations. For our purposes, the SAP HANA database has been detected and that's all we need. Optionally, you could add components like the application function library, AF file, or other components like Smart Data Access. I'll select Next. I'm going to install a new system. I'll select Next. In the Select Components screen, I'm informed that the database will be installed. And here I can select additional components for installation. And the SAP HANA database client is selected by default. Optionally, as mentioned, you could add here other components. I'll select Next. In step 4a, we're going to choose the system type. Will it be a single host system or a multiple host system? In this case, it will be a single host system. In case you want to install it on a multiple host system, you would add your difference host here and provide the root username, root user password, and the shared installation path. I'll select Next. Step 4b, and it is here that we're going to select the database mode, which will be multiple containers. And this will configure our system to be a multi-tenant database system. Local host name is already set, as is the installation path. This is the default setting. I will add an SAP HANA system ID of three characters. I will select MDC here. I'll accept the default for instance number 00. Then for an MDC system, I can set the database isolation mode. Low is the default, which means that all databases are owned by the SID ADM user, the software owner. Or I can set it to high, where each database has its own operating system user. And this will add an additional layer of security. So let's select that one. And then for system usage, I'll accept the default custom. I'm not going to restrict memory allocations. And I will not select the restart system after machine reboot, as this is a development and test environment. I'll select Next. Step 4C, define storage properties. Specify the data and lock area. I'll accept the defaults, which is slash HANA slash data SID, in our case MDC, for the data volumes, and slash lock MDC for the lock volumes. I'll select Next. Then the certificate host properties, step 4D. This will allow you to enter the certificate host name, which defaults to the local host name, which I will accept, and I'll select Next. Step 4E, define the system administrator. The name is a given, it's the SID ADM user, in our case MDC ADM, and then the password will need to be entered. System Administrator User ID, System Administrator Login Shell, and the System Administrator Home Directory. I will accept all defaults and select Next. Then Step 4F, Define Database User. Again, the username is given, it will be System, and I will enter here the password. I'll select Next. Step 5, Review and Confirm. Database mode, multiple containers, database isolation, high, and I'll select install. During the installation, files will be copied from the installation media to our installation path. The database will be created, started, and then delivery units imported. This will take a couple of minutes. Then the resident 
lifecycle management tool will be installed locally and any additional components that you've selected, in our case that's the SAP HANA database client, will be installed. And finally, the configuration of the SAP host agent will be updated with the database information, after which the installation is finished. And when the SAP HANA system is installed, you can select Finish to end the installation. Okay, so much for installing a multi-tenant database container system. More videos on youtube.com SAP HANA Academy. Connect with us on LinkedIn or follow us on Twitter. And if you like this video, give it a like on the page. Your comments are welcome. Thank you for watching this SAP HANA Academy video.